George Knapp is here to tell us what he's dug up about these secretive black projects. Paula, 18 years ago this month, the Air Force gave the public its first look at the stealth fighter. This reporter even saved his media pass from that day because the plane was and is so cool. What we didn't know back then is that by the time the military unveiled the stealth of the world, it had already been flying for more than 10 years. Yeah. Earlier this month, the I-team watched as the stealth was retired from service, which raises the question, what new toys are they working on? On out there? The answer may lie in patches. Yeah, not much going on out here today. A handful of aviation watchers and a lone TV camera were the only uninvited eyewitnesses earlier this month when the last of the F-117 Nighthawks, better known as the stealth fighters, flew into mothballs and into history. Thank you for the ride today. Thank you for the show. As far as outsiders know, there's nothing else of note going on at the Tonopah Test Range, a.k.a. Area 52. Nothing to see here, so move along. But the mere fact that the Pentagon is retiring one of the premier warplanes in the world speaks volumes to military watchdogs. They have technology out here that they are evaluating right now, that they're working on. They say that is about 30 years advance to what the public knows about. Stories about futuristic weapons systems being tested in the Nevada desert at places like Area 51 are staples of aviation magazines. The military doesn't comment, not in so many words anyway, but there are clues. It's a glimpse into a, at least a $30 billion secret industry. Author Trevor Paglin collects colorful scraps of fabric, souvenirs from the heart of the black world. They're unit patches created by outfits you've never heard of, working on projects you may never see. The imagery is menacing. Ghosts, skulls, specters, spooks, like something out of the nightmare of a teenage boy. There is a definitely a kind of Dungeons and Dragons aesthetic to a lot of these things. But if you know how to read them, the patches are packed with info. Many of the patches have collections of six stars, five and one, telling the world that the program, whatever it is, is being tested at Area 51. The lightning bolt is associated with electronic warfare. One way to guess what they mean is to look back at programs already acknowledged. Grim Reapers was one of the old uh, stealth squadrons at uh, Tonopah. And uh, it was the Grim Reapers and the uh, Night Stalkers. And when those units became public, they, they had to change their names. Uh, Grim Reapers apparently was too satanic for the military brass. And so they became the Ghost Riders. There are a lot of inside jokes. This acronym, N-O-Y-F-B, is telling the world in not too polite terms to butt out. The exact words will come to you in a minute. In a nod to the persistent stories about ETs in the desert, there's a patch for Mars, Materials Application Repair Section, whose members were known as Martians. Their job was to repair radar absorbent coatings on stealth planes. There are plenty of other aliens, too. The Latin inscription means, let them hate so long as they fear. This patch for the classified flight test unit 509, the same unit involved in the infamous Roswell incident, includes a reference to an old Twilight Zone episode, To Serve Man, in which aliens ate humans. One version includes the Latin phrase, tastes like chicken. Well, over and over again, you see in this world that they've really adopted the alien as a kind of mascot. It's become a kind of inside joke. Sometimes the clues are not obvious until it's too late. This is the patch for the bird of prey. Note the shape of the handle on the sword. It's the same shape as the aircraft, which flew at Area 51 for six years and was then retired without ever being publicly acknowledged. Uh, when they retired the bird of prey, nobody had heard of the bird of prey before. Then all of a sudden, they retired it. Every one of the patches tells its own story. Many are completely indecipherable. The Minotaur, the Night Stalker, the Vindicator. In 30 years, maybe they'll tell us what we paid for. Mm -hmm. The design of the patches is approved by higher up so that no secrets are accidentally spilled. Contrary to public perception, secrets can be kept and are being kept. Uh, we see what they allow us to see. All the patches have been compiled in this book by Trevor Paglin. I could tell you, but then I would have to be destroyed by you. That phrase is taken from one of the patches. There is a link on our website as well. We've got a bunch of the patches posted there, and we've got a link to the Roadrunners. That's a group of guys who formerly worked out there. We are told that the guys at Area 51 are watching us tonight. Hey, guys, you're doing a great job. How about a tour? <laughs> <Really>? <laughs> Those are great patches.